Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, you can. Okay. That was interesting. It would have sent picking me up. I will be right back so I can explain the stream. Okay, uh, okay, so today I am going to clear. Keeps like springs on the stand, keep making it like like oh, oh shoot. Okay. I didn't have this issue yesterday, so I don't know what's wrong here right now. Hello. Sir, you're really gonna do this to me. Hello? Let me see if you can hear me. No, you can't. Oh, God. Let me relocate this microphone really quick. Microphone is now successfully relocated. Um, today, I am taking a better approach on this. Uh, you may not be able to hear me if I'm facing this way. I don't think you can hear me as well. Show's about to skim as yesterday. Okay. Um, it might be a little muffled though. So, um, basically, in today's video or stream, I'm going to be redrawing it, the drawing I was trying to yesterday. I'm doing a more professional style on it because I couldn't find my actual pencils yesterday. But today we actually have the Stadler um, Norica HB2. Number two. HB number two. Um, then 
I'm going to be drawing with a number of Prismacolor turquoise series. Um, the Scholar ones, I think. Um, if they do have a level, it's either Scholar or it's the highest. I do not buy Beginner. So we're going to start by naming them off. Prismacolor turquoise 2263 2B. Prismacolor turquoise 242301 and 8B. Prismacolor turquoise 2259, just a regular B. Uh, Prismacolor tur turquoise 226948H. Prismacolor, I'm not even going to say that second number anymore, 6H. A6B, 2H. Um, I do need to sharpen them. They are in fact not sharp at all. Um, I do not have a place for sharpening stuff. Or like the shape. This is an issue. It is going to be this mug, the Mandalorian mug. I pray that graphite doesn't stain it, so it is white. No, I don't know. Actually, I'm really that worried. Use my Epcot ball that I normally use for SD cards. Okay, there we go. That's, that's a better. So I do need to sharpen these pencils a little bit first. A lot of them are a little bit dull because I haven't sharpened them in forever. Um, the sharpener is really good. In just a couple turns, um, it all the gets really sharp in just a couple turns. Um, Not to break this one's lead because this one's a 8B. 8B's lead is a very easy to snap. I guess that's a good enough point for that one. Most of these have somewhat of a point left. Some don't have any of them. Um, like I said, normally my art's way better. Like, I know I knew I could do way better on it than what I did yesterday. Okay, we're gonna try that. Um, I did start off with a little bit of a pre sketch graphite. Um, then what I did is I pressed the graphite into real notebook paper. Um, like an actual art notebook. I just press pure, like really dark graphite into it. Um, with the with a bit of an outline of the picture, the basic outline. Um, I do think. Where is it? I don't know where I put the original picture. I'm gonna compare this one to it. I know you can't see it anyway because. My camera, when I started the stream, I realized it was dead. I already had the stream set up by then. So, we're going to go without it picture for a while. I'm going to be listening to Game Theory. Might turn it up just enough where you can barely hear. I don't know. Um, but, 
other than that, we're not showing the video until later in this. Now, I do want to find... So I want to see the scale difference. Yeah, we are drawing this quite a bit smaller this time. I am leaving a margin. Um, the reason is, is so I have a place one to rest my hand. Um, we're also going to be using... What in? We're going to be using this my Chromebook as my reference this time instead of my phone because my Chromebook doesn't shut off on stuff. Um, I am going to be selling parts of my older setup because my setup is basically fully upgraded now. So I'm going to be selling quite a bit. Um, obviously, I'm not going to tell you where I am and stuff because that's a bit creepy, but I'm just announcing that. Like my old Logitech wheel and pedals. Um, I am upgraded to Thrustmaster, so I don't even need them anymore. The chip on my Logitech stopped working for some reason, so I don't even know why that happened. Doesn't even matter that much. Um, the only thing I liked more about Logitech is the fact that I didn't have to buy pedals and stuff, but it doesn't really work anymore. Actually, I'm not going to turn this on to where you can hear it. I'm going to turn it so slightly on desktop audio. Great if you hear that at all. Yes. I'm not starting yet. I'm trying to prolong how long it until I start because I am trying to include video. That's my stream's not going. Uh, uh oh. Oh, wait, it is. Why is my app not showing up? Okay. Oh, I guess I can't really check on it. Ah, God. There we go. of the lore necessarily but in terms of the cryptic storytelling there is a ton of information packed into the few short minutes of trailer footage that we've seen so far enough that i believe we can predict the entire plot of this new movie right down to the shocking twist ending you can hear this i think man if you think this movie has itself a happy ending with everyone smiling and living happily ever after then okay. clearly you have not been paying attention so today's so. Theme theory does what game theory we are gonna start now i guess and why did sam no photos Dude, I have no idea. Okay. Full screen. Photo. Photo. 
unlike anything we've ever seen in space. Clearly, it's a murder weapon, and clearly it was made by the franchise of Big Bad, but why, what, and how okay. is it still competing? Okay, we are going to start. Again, what's hard to guess is that it's a remnant of extraction. In order to turn a murder victim into that most traumatic possible death possible through the agony they experience can be harvested to help create creatures with eternal life. If none of that meant anything, <laughs> strap in, El Shippo, we're in for a crash course. By the end of this thing, we're going to be talking about fast food with the confidence of a quarter. Looking at the trailers on IMDb, we know that this oh, this is really confusing to do. I'm using so many computers for so many different things right now. Can't even. Actually, I'm gonna be right back. If you listen to Game Theory, I guess. So I do want hot cocoa. trying to keep the most iconic aspects of games intact. Plus, they're really combining ideas and characters from the different areas of the franchise to give as many recognizable aspects of Snap into one frame as possible. That's why we think the story from the original Snap interacted with someone new from Security Breach. And then you have a girl named Abby mixed in there whose name is literally an anagram of baby, all fighting against an unbroken range of spring clock. That right there, that is the filmmakers trying to bridge the gap between the different eras of Snap and bring in as many fans as they can. The OGs from 2014, the new fans from Security Breach, and also your average Joe Goofy kind of threadbare from a Ned Bear, let alone a glam rock from Rockstar. Oh, you have so much to learn. So all in all, think of this movie as something that's going to wipe the slate clean and start fresh, referencing moments and key characters from the game's book, but not being beholden to them. Because, you know, that's not a confusing route to go at all. That said, let's just hope we don't stray too far from the game. Keep in place this detail right here. During a spooky, scary moment in the trailer, Nebraska is spelled out very clearly in poster in very large, very bold letters right next to the main character's head. This was an intentional decision definitely fitted with the trailers to keep us talking. This means something. Consensus is that the Snap game currently took place in Utah. Both their spin off book series have made that detail quite clear. So, to be them, they've moved the setting to Nebraska for some reason. Yeah, but I don't think so. I mean, there's this kind of cool poster of the state that you're currently in right above your security breach. My guess is that this poster was put here intentionally by Mark. It's important. Yeah, I think so. My best guess is that it's hashtag gold, an aspirational place to go to to help him get out of his current situation. Because on the face of it, things don't seem to be going all that great for him. It looks to me like Mike and his family have fallen on some hard times. First off, we don't see his parents in these trailers at all. So Mike's father has since passed, but my guess is we're going here for a flashback scene considering the visible sleepover the Mike had with Josh Pickens. Additionally, we see that Mike and his little sister Abby are living in a small house with an average car, and Mike is looking for any job that he can get now. As opposed to... I don't know where to start with this drawing, honestly. I didn't know where to start with yesterday. It's always so hard to... Some people will just, like, completely do the shading as they go along. Some people do part by part. Um, 
some people will do the major parts and shade in between. The issue with this is when you're recreating a real person exactly. Because, like, that other one, that could have been any kid. At least if you're looking at it from the wrong angle. But if I get it exact, I can. It, it's always, like, the same kid. You know what I mean? Like, I want it to look like the picture. I want it to look like a movie. I want it to look exactly how it comes. And that's not possible if. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna post a science stream real quick. One viewer, I have no idea who you are, but okay. The combat turned off. I think it just died. No, I can't do that. Oh my god. I can't really draw if I don't have the reference. Okay, it didn't die, it just... I don't know what... to do until I get honestly I don't want to miss like make you guys miss out because you came here to see me draw but at the same time it's not really start with the eyes now since we're at about 0.25 like a quarter smaller like if this image it was a one the next one would be like a 1.25 right um that's what i'm starting at i'm gonna start at the eyes which is gonna make it a little bit harder than the other one I always start with a 6H no matter what, no matter how dark it is. 
because 6H allows me to define details without messing stuff up, like losing quality, or not quality, like, you know, without losing parts of the important, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I think I just messed this up. Yeah, this is way smaller scale than Leatherman. I can barely see the outline of that. Always messes up the point on the first pencils. Like it always makes it like a point, but not. I think I just fixed the point a little bit. Yeah, it's better. Definitely not the best it can be, though. Getting the shape of the eye isn't the is the harder part for me. Actually, making the eye look good isn't even hard in my opinion. Accidentally just erase the outline for the eye. Crap. Wow. I can do. Just press the outline back into it. Press the new one in at the same time. Oh, I completely missed the bottom of the eye. Nowhere near. His eye is far wider than I thought. Okay. This is the bottom of the eye. 
Good thing I have that original graphite press sheet so I can just press in more graphite whenever I need it. Makes everything ten times easier if I mess something up. Is like right. It's not really like correct. You could say a single part of his theory right now is correct. Bro's theory is actually like comically incorrect right now. Not hitting me. I know that it is all theory, but it's kind of funny listening to it in the future. I guess you could say. There's no way I just did that. I used the wrong keyboard. I have two keyboards in front of me right now. Oh lord. Um. Just sharing the video with my friends. Racer is dirty. video is um, about the Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. I did not want to watch that, honestly. I don't even like horror movies. If you haven't seen the Five Nights at Freddy's movie yet, it's not scary at all. Honestly, like, I hate horror movies, so... I was actually just going to watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie for the fifth time, but, yeah, I don't know.
They either have a viewer or that's just me, I don't know. It's funny that he was like theorizing about the movie when he was in it. You know what I found interesting? On some of the actors' Instagrams, it shows that a lot, some, most of the actors' Instagrams stuff shows that they had masks on there. Even though, like, COVID's over. They let at least a major part of it. Can't play anything too much though. Like if he says something about the movie, I'm gonna stop it because I know that it's only been exactly a month. Exactly a month. Like today's been a month. I just realized that I'm drawing a character from it exactly a month later. Oh, so would you believe that this? The child actors, they're like 11 and 12 year olds. I mean, not to be offensive. Like, that's crazy. I thought they were like second, third graders. No, they're like seven, six, seventh, and eighth graders. It's kind of crazy. The nose didn't transfer over either. I need to graphite stamp that. Something I actually want to make my own, like, rent-out movie place with its own, like, production crew and all that. Maybe not even rent-out. Just movie place in general. Except it's very expensive to do. I wonder how the how much the actors made off of the movie. I also find it crazy that Grant Feely, he literally has only starred in like two movies, or at least not even starred, but it, both movies he, are like popular things. Five Nights at Freddy's movie is literally the one of the biggest movies Blumhouse has made, and then you have the uh, Obi-Wan, and Obi-Wan 
is Star Wars. Which, yeah, not a lot of people watch the newer Star Wars, but either way, it's still in, like, the biggest series he can possibly be in of modern day. Which is crazy. And he's playing main supporting roles in them. He's playing Golden Freddy in one, and in the other, he's playing Luke Skywalker. Literally, like, the main person of Star Wars from Episode 4 on. Basically, episode... No, seven. Yeah, seven, I think. Is Luke where he dies? Because Rey has the lightsaber. She's fighting Kylo. Yeah, so episode seven was, like, the last movie of Luke. Which means Luke was the star, basically the main star. Like... Two of them, and then he gets to play the child version of him. That's an amazing, like, I don't know. It's just interesting. It's like one of the biggest, like, start offs that an actor can have playing two major roles. I just realized what it was talking about. Talking about the movie. I don't know what to watch. I obviously can't watch the movie on stream, but it's just not okay. Um People are watching right now. One. Where am I getting subscribers from? Um. Most of my audience is European. I do not know how to, like, how am I supposed to say, like, how am I supposed to get these streams out to Europeans? Because right now it is definitely not exact like a daytime. It's really good um, for everyone. Like right now it is 9 o'clock in the east of the US. It is like midday. So like most people are at school and are working in Europe right now. The only place I can really appeal to is China. Or not China. Asia. I could try and appeal to China, but I don't know how much freedom on YouTube they have. Um, not trying to be offensive. I literally am just saying I don't know how much freedom. Um, I don't think there's any really one that knows exactly. So, I don't know. Um, I can't speak Chinese, though. So I guess I can try and appeal to Asia. I don't know how well that's going to go, though. Why do I have upcoming streams? I'm going to delete those because I don't want... How old is this one? I have a feeling that these waiting streams are also kind of ruining my view count because it's going to show them I think you guys can actually see them. I don't 
I don't know what kinds of regular videos to do. I do. I'm actually. Copyright. I've gotten copyrighted for using my own music by a company, and they're like, you're using this music, and I'm like, that's literally me. I don't understand why regular channels, like anyone, can copyright claim for anyone. It's kind of stupid. Um, I have 15 public watch hours in a y the last year. That's not good. I only have I either need 3 million views in the last 90 days or 3,000 watch hours in 365 days. I need 500 subscribers. I only need 3 uploads every 90 days, which is 3 months, which isn't... That's easy. I, I already do that a lot. Um, just trying to get to my... Community things, but the, oh no, they're here. Okay. Oh my god, I keep trying to type with the wrong keyboard. Let me go and see. Oh, I already have a poll up of what kind of games, video game things you want to see. Go to my community if you're watching this, and right now or in the future or whenever. Um, I want you to go to my community tab, and I want you to check, uh, what videos do you want to see? Uh, Minecraft, BMG, first-person shooter, racing game, or other? Ooh, it's weird. Someone's doing a burnout of I put my art Instagram in the description of this video too. Like I said, I was gonna. Just watch the Five Nights at Freddy's movie for like the tenth time and the fifth. Still, it's got ninety-seven percent Rotten Tomato or viewer rating. How do I give it a viewer rating? Actually, let me let me pause. Pause drawing. Let's see. Imagine if viewer rating is just based on what people say on like Twitter and stuff. They just have people that just like go around Twitter to figure it out. There is no way that my Oh my god, I didn't even know my Chromebook was magnetic on the bottom. I do not know what just magnetic click, but it just stuck to my computer case side that I have sitting on the ground. Uh It has a 94% good rating, but a 30% Rotten Tomatoes. I think Rotten Tomatoes are extremely biased, because every single Rotten Tomato view says it is a good movie, but then it says it's a good movie, but then every single one of them also say it lacks the horror. But the thing is, they did incorrectly market it. It is a thriller movie, not a horror movie. Horror is meant to scare you, thriller is meant to... Like, how do you describe it? Thrillers kind of like jump. It's just meant to like give you a little bit of a jump every now and then. Horror is meant to just purely scare you, and it's not really based on like all the ins and outs of it. Like, you can't do many theories about a movie like Scream 
Like, obviously, there's not much to theorize about it, because it gives you all the information straight up, because it's not really meant to make you theorize and think about it. It doesn't have lore. But then you have Thriller, which does. Now, they called it a horror movie. That's the issue. And they didn't call it a thriller. They called it literally horror mystery. Thriller is in there. But thriller, it seems like it was added later. Um, because it definitely is labeled as a horror mystery movie on basically everything. Sure, mystery can be. But it, it somehow is PG-13. Which doesn't make sense. The box office grossing right now, just for the USA, is $132.7 That means, let's say, we had our whole population and everyone gave $1 for a ticket. That means over a third of the U.S. population would have seen it. I know for a fact that a third hasn't. Oh, wait, yeah, definitely. That's, that's actually probably more than a third. Probably about 200 million because um, normally theaters don't get a percent amount like people think or the box office Normally theaters take most of it and like movie creators only get like 90 cents off of each or whatever They don't get that much, but if you watch it That means like all it takes is two people and they get a dollar and 80 cents Like 200 million, let's say about 200 million people saw it So I could just Multiply it. That means about 147.4 million people saw it and they made 132. Which isn't bad. I still don't have any writers ins or drawers inspiration right now. And I am suffering from creative block. And this is unfortunate because I really want to do this drawing. But I have no creativity. Like creativity, creativity meter gone. Absolutely gone. Think about playing just a game right now. That's how I decide. I've been streaming for an hour and I've barely gotten the eyes done. Um, which is way less progress than yesterday. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to stop this stream. So I still have to wait for my camera to charge. Come back to it. Maybe spent work on half the art later. Um, I'm going to stop this stream right now and go right to BeamNG stream. Um, I'm stopping the stream so I can reset the tags and stuff about it. Uh, go to a BMG stream. Ooh, shh, just drop my wheel for BMG. Okay, I can't do this right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, see you in two seconds. <laughs>